Section. Introduction. In this section, we delve into the significance of memory in both natural and artificial cognitive systems. We explain that memory serves to store general knowledge, facts, and specific episodic information. When it comes to training neural models, we encode the representations for general knowledge and recurring facts within the network's parameters. Meanwhile, task-specific information is fed into the model as part of its input, playing a crucial role in shaping the solution generated by the model. We highlight the recent advancements in machine learning that have allowed for a significant increase in the size of inputs that models can handle, expanding from hundreds to hundreds of thousands of elements. However, we also note a challenge. The computation needed for self-attention in transformers grows quadratically with the length of the input sequence, which poses a limit to further increases. Despite this, new models are being developed that aim to overcome these limitations, potentially handling millions of input elements. One promising strategy involves enhancing transformers with recurrent memory, which allows a pre-trained language model to be augmented with internal recurrent memory. This model is then fine-tuned to leverage this memory for tackling specific tasks over long contexts divided into segments, with computational complexity scaling linearly with input size. In our work, we further refine the recurrent memory approach by incorporating in-context retrieval based on the recurrent memory embedding of input segments. We observe that as the field progresses rapidly, the methods for evaluating models capable of processing extremely long inputs are not keeping pace. To address this, we introduce Bobby Long, a new benchmark designed to evaluate the performance of NLP models on tasks embedded within lengthy documents, extending the concept of needle in a haystack tests. Our main contributions include the creation of Bobby Long, a novel benchmark for assessing NLP models' ability to process documents of arbitrary length with distributed facts. We evaluate the performance of GPT-4 and RAG on Needle in a Haystack, question-answering tasks involving up to millions of tokens. Additionally, we set a new record by evaluating a recurrent memory transformer on input texts of up to 10 million tokens, pushing the boundaries of what neural networks can process. The essence of the Bobby Long benchmark is to extend the length of tasks to test generative models' efficiency in handling long contexts. This involves embedding the sentences of the original task within a mass of irrelevant text, gradually increasing the sample's length to the desired size. For the background text, we use books from the PG-19 dataset, which are characterized by their substantial length and naturally occurring long contexts. The model's task is to identify, memorize, and use the relevant sentences to generate the correct solution. We focus on extending the Bobby benchmark, which consists of 20 tasks designed to evaluate basic reasoning aspects. These tasks simulate interactions among characters and objects in various settings, with each interaction represented by a fact. The challenge is to answer questions based on these facts, testing the model's reasoning capabilities across different dimensions. In our experiments with state-of-the-art large language models, we observe that even models with large context windows struggle to identify relevant facts amidst a sea of distracting text. We explore the performance of GPT-4 Turbo and Mistral models on various tasks, noting a decrease in accuracy as the context length increases. Our study also involves fine-tuning a GPT-3.5 model and evaluating its performance, which shows improvement but still faces challenges with increased noise. We employ the FAISS vector database and the Langchain library for our experimental setup with RAG, using two distinct approaches for text chunking. Our findings indicate that retrieval performance varies with the chunking method and the context length highlighting the challenges and potential strategies for improving model performance in processing long documents. Section Summary In this section, we explore the importance of memory in natural and artificial cognitive systems, where different memory types store general knowledge, facts, and specific information. Neural models are trained to encode general knowledge and facts in their parameters, while task-specific information is provided as input to guide solution generation.
Recent advancements aim to overcome limitations in input sequence length by introducing models with recurrent memory, allowing for processing of longer contexts and setting new records for sequence size capabilities in neural networks. Section. Recurrent Memory Transformer with Retrieval. In this section, we introduce a concept called the Recurrent Memory Transformer with Retrieval. Typically, in recurrent models, information from one step is passed to the next in a fixed size package. However, this method faces a challenge because, by the end of processing a sequence, this single package needs to contain information about the entire sequence, which can lead to a bottleneck. To tackle this, we suggest keeping all previous information packages and allowing the model to pick and use the relevant ones for the current step. This approach is somewhat similar to how attention mechanisms work in recurrent neural networks, but here, it's about retrieving past states. The Recurrent Memory Transformer, RMT, enhances transformer models by breaking down sequences into segments and processing them one after the other. This method allows the model to handle longer input sequences more efficiently. In RMT, Memory is represented by special tokens that are processed alongside the current segment tokens. This setup enables the transformer to access information from earlier segments. At each step, the RMT takes in a segment and the memory state from the previous step, updates the memory state, and makes predictions. For the RMT to retrieve information from its past states, we use a technique called self-retrieval. This involves using cross-attention between the current memory state and all previous memory states. We simplify this process by using a single head attention mechanism. The retrieved memories are then combined with the memory state from the previous step for the current processing. To ensure that the model can only use information from the past and not peek into the future, we place read memory tokens at the beginning and write memory tokens at the end of the sequence. This setup is particularly important for models that generate output one step at a time. In our enhanced version of RMT, which includes self-retrieval, RMTR, we add the retrieved states only to the read memory. This means the input for the RMTR consists of the previous memory state, the retrieved states, and the current segment, in that order. Each memory state in RMT is made up of multiple memory tokens, allowing the model to represent different aspects of past inputs, similar to how multiple heads work in transformer attention mechanisms. However, with RMTR, we keep all previous memory states, which means the amount of memory needed grows linearly with the number of segments processed. We tested RMT and RMTR models, both built on a GPT-2 architecture, on various tasks with different lengths of input sequences. We started training with shorter sequences and gradually moved to longer ones. Our model showed impressive performance, even outperforming GPT-4, especially on sequences longer than those seen during training. This demonstrates the model's ability to generalize and handle extremely long sequences effectively, thanks to the memory mechanism and the self-retrieval feature. To better understand how our models manage to maintain performance over long sequences, we analyzed the memory states and attention patterns on a specific task. We found that the memory states change visibly when new facts are introduced, indicating that the model learns to distinguish and retain important information. This was further supported by observing how the model writes new facts to memory and retrieves them to answer questions showcasing the effectiveness of our approach in managing information over extended contexts. Section Summary In this section, we introduce a recurrent memory transformer, RMT, that addresses the bottleneck of fixed-size recurrent states in sequence processing by allowing the model to retrieve relevant past states. By incorporating self-retrieval, similar to attention in RNNs, RMT extends the context size of transformer models linearly with input size. RMTR, an augmentation with self-retrieval, demonstrates superior performance on longer sequences, showcasing the potential of recurrence paired with trainable retrieval mechanisms for reasoning over extensive contextual spans. Section. Related work. In this section, we discuss various datasets and benchmarks that have been developed to evaluate the performance of large language models, LLMs, in processing long contexts. 
we introduce the long bench dataset, which comprises six types of real and synthetic problems, including summarization, multi-document question answering, QA, and code completion. The average lengths of samples in long bench are 6,000 tokens for English and 13,000 tokens for Chinese. Another dataset, Zero Scrolls, aims to test models' few shot learning capabilities in long contexts and includes only validation and testing data. L-Eval combines several smaller long sequence datasets and introduces four new tasks, with example lengths ranging from 3,000 to 60,000 tokens. The Long Range Arena, LRA, includes tasks with lengths varying from 1,000 to 16,000 tokens but focuses on very specific tasks that are not directly related to natural language processing, NLP, making it less suitable for evaluating modern LLMs like GPT-4, which supports contexts of over 100,000 tokens. We propose a new approach for building datasets and testing language models' abilities to find and reason about specific information within contexts of millions of tokens. We apply this approach to the Bobby tasks, resulting in the Bab I long benchmark, which features infinitely long contexts. In addition to dataset development, we explore the concept of retrieval augmented generation, RAG, where a language model is enhanced with a retrieval module. This module selects relevant parts from a data storage based on a given request, and these parts are then incorporated into the model's input for making predictions. Various implementations of this retrieval mechanism have been proposed, ranging from retrieving predictions directly to adding retrieved input tokens or text segments to the language model's input. For instance, Realm appends whole text segments to improve masked language modeling while the Memorizing Transformer and Retrieval Pre-Trained Transformer use different strategies to incorporate retrieved information into the model's processing. We also introduce an enhancement to the Recurrent Memory Transformer, RMT, by enabling it to retrieve its own past memory tokens, marking the first combination of a recurrent transformer with a trainable retrieval mechanism. Recurrence is another strategy we discuss for handling long contexts, where a model processes the context in smaller segments and uses a recurrent hidden state to aggregate information from past segments. Several architectures have been proposed to add recurrence to transformers, such as the compressive transformer, recurrent memory transformer, activation beacon, temporal latent bottleneck transformer, and block recurrent transformer. We choose to use the RMT in our experiments due to its simplicity, compatibility with pre-trained transformer-based models, and promising scaling capabilities. Finally, we mention other approaches to extending context length for transformers, such as Big Bird, Longformer, and LongNet, which employ sparse self-attention mechanisms. Additionally, works like RWKV, S4, and Mamba focus on advancing recurrent networks to achieve high levels of parallelism while maintaining linear complexity showing promising results on long sequences but still trailing behind the best transformer models in NLP tasks. Mamba, in particular, aims to close this gap, 